Greetings, my name is Reem Hanna. I'm an associate specialist in oral surgery at King's College Hospital in London. I am an honorary associate professor at UCL Eastman Dental Institute, and I'm a professor by contract at University of Geneva in the Department of Surgical Sciences and Integrated Diagnostic. Myself and my co-authors are from different universities have produced an evidence-based review entitled Understanding COVID-19 Molecular Mechanism and Therapeutic Strategies. As all we know that the whole world has been taken by a storm of the SARS-CoV-2, and this is the cytokine storms. So in our review, we have uh, comprehensively uh, explained the pathogenesis and etiopathogenesis of this virus and different stages of uh, the COVID-19 in terms of the early stage and the latest stage of this virus. Also, we talked about the severity of this disease in relation to its clinical presentation, the age of the patient, and also the comorbidity, and how these can be taken together into uh, choosing the right diagnostic tools in terms of the chest CT, uh, using the biochemical as well as the molecular uh, test, and that has really set up uh, the plan for the treatment of these uh, patients. Also, we talked uh, comprehensively about the therapeutic strategies. The current one, the most uh, significant, and uh, the advantages of each of these therapies and the drawbacks of them. And also, we talked about the clinical trials, the current one and going, and the completed one, and the outcome of each of these clinical trials and the stages. And also we talked about, touched on the vaccines and how it is important to produce one in order to reduce the severity of this disease. Furthermore, we have talked in what is the future non-invasive therapy and what's the current uh, cases report as well as the current clinical trials for this therapy. The phototherapy, it is well documented in the scientific literature that exhibits a promising non-invasive treatment modality due to its significant anti-inflammatory effect, reducing the inflammatory cytokines and promote healing and analgesic. And also it is a well documented in case reports we have explained in our review that this therapy can deactivate the virus and also reduce the length of the stay in the hospital and the need for a ventilator. And we talked about the prospective therapies, which are very important. And there are a lot of uh, clinical trials looking at the AC inhibitors, the angiotestin receptor type one, the mesenchymal cell, the exosomes as well, as well as the cellular therapy. And interestingly, we touch also on the traditional Chinese medicine and the, uh, can help into reducing the viral load. So how this phototherapy can help into uh, reducing the viral load as well as deactivating the virus and promote into healing. So this uh, uh, graph shows this one side, uh, the, how the SARS-CoV-2 produces the IRD. And also on the other side, we talked about how the phototherapy can reverse the action of the SARS-CoV-2. So in one, a few ago, one a column, it shows really the SARS-CoV-2 increases the inflammatory signals and increased activation of the macrophages, subsequently increasing the cytokines and increasing the inflammatory and pre-inflammatory mediators, and also increasing the interleukin expressions. And subsequently this lead to decrease in the ATP production and delay in the healing process. While the phototherapy in the wavelength between 600 nanometer, 1200 nanometer, reduces inflammatory signals and decreases the activation of the macrophages and the decrease the cytokines, subsequently reducing the inflammatory and pre-inflammatory mediators and increase the ATP, which is important for cell proliferation and differentiation and enhance in the healing process. So this is very promising uh, therapy that can be used during the COVID-19 uh, 
patients management. So to conclude, this review has produced a high quality evidence base which can be utilized by clinical scientific community for future reference as the knowledge and understanding of the SARS-CoV-2 virus are evolving in terms of the epidemiology, the pathogenicity, the clinical manifestation, and ultimately this will uh, pave the road map for strategic therapy towards an effective one and also a production of reliable and potent vaccine. Also, we have touched in a way that we need further clinical trials, well-documented double-blinded studies to get into the right protocol that can be implemented to uh, utilize the phototherapy in terms of management of COVID-19. Patient. With this, I would like to thank you for listening and also happy reading of our manuscript. Many thanks.